here and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are diving into something that can seriously level up your workflow, that is BitFlows. If you are looking for a powerful automation tool to create workflows, then you are in the right place. Let me show you how BitFlows can simplify your tasks and save your hours every week. Let's get started. We are on our WordPress website where we will test and showcase the features the plugin offers. Uh, if you are uh, trying to create uh, workflows with a free version, uh, then you will need to install the plugin first. So uh, you will need to go to the plugins, add new plugin here. Here we will need to search for the bit flows. Here it is. Uh, I have already installed and activated the pro version of the BitFlows plugin to showcase its full capabilities. But if you are trying to use the free version, you will need to install the plugin like this. So let's go to the BitFlows uh, Pro dashboard. So here is the dashboard for the BitFlows uh, plugin. Uh, but what we will need to do is to go to the Flows page. Uh, as you can see, we haven't created any flows yet. Let's create a new one together. So we click on a create flow button here. And here we will need, uh, we can choose from the available options, uh, from the example flows and elementor form to email marketing, but we will uh, uh, choose the blank option. And here we can provide a title for our flow. Let's uh, do it like this and click on a create button here. Uh, as you can see, the plugin integrates with so many apps and you can use uh, unlimited capabilities with the uh, plugin and you can create unlimited flows. Uh, as you can see, the list is very uh, big. Uh, and here you can provide a search as, that, as the, there are many apps here. Uh, also here you can see the tools. Uh, let's search for example for WordPress. Like this. Besides this, we can also click on a plus button here and search from here. For example, we will choose WordPress. On post status update, we will click on it. This settings configuration means that we will get a response each time when uh, the admin of the website changes the status of the post. For example, um, the admin of the website can publish the post uh, from the draft uh, and we will get a response. Uh, here we will need to choose the post type. For example, we will choose posts. And here we will need to choose any of our posts. Uh, let's choose, for example, BitFlows test post. And here we will need to click on our listen response button. Then we can go to our dashboard. Then let's go to the uh, posts, choose our desired post. Here is our test post we have chosen uh, in the settings of the flow. So let's publish it. Then let's go to the flow and check the response. Here you can see we have received the response and it is captured. So we can uh, close this tab. So after choosing the WordPress on post status update flow, uh, we will need to decide where to send this data. Uh, so we will need to choose another app from the list. For example, let's uh, choose uh, Google Sheets. Here it is. We can just drag and drop it here like this and click to open it. We will need to select the integrations, add row or append or update row by value. We will choose add row. And here we will need to make a connection or select from the existing ones. As we don't have Google Sheets uh, connection, we will need to um, do this together. So let's click on the add connection button. As you can see here, you will need to insert the uh, connection type, connection name, redirect URL, client ID, client secret. You can click on a here button uh, that will redirect you to the uh, cloud console where you can find your credentials. Uh, we will click on it. We are on our Google Cloud uh, console. So let's go to the APIs and services. And here we will need to search for the Google uh, Drive API. And uh, we will need to enable it. Then also let's search for the Google Sheets API. Like this. 
and enable it as well. So we are done with this part. So now we go to the uh, app APIs and services, then auth consent screen. And here you can see the apps I have already created. Let's check the BitFlows app. Here you can see the app information like app name, user support email, uh, you can upload app logo and app domain. And here you will need to provide a developer contact information. Then we can go to the audience. And as you can see, the uh, app is already published. After that, we will need to go to the data access page. And here we will need to add scopes uh, of the uh, BitFlows plugin. We will click here. Then we will need to open the BitFlows documentation. Here you can see uh, all the scopes we need to uh, copy and paste uh, on our Google Cloud console. So we will need to copy and paste them one by one. Here we choose scope and paste it here like this and click on the update button. We will need to do the same for all the scopes mentioned in the documentation. Once we are done, we will need to save the changes here. After that, we will need to go to the credentials page uh, of the APIs and services and click on a create credentials button and choose OS client ID here. Here we will need to choose the application type as web application and name our uh, application. For example, we will name it as it flows. Here we will need to click on the add URL button for the authorized JavaScript origins and paste the URL of our homepage. And then we will need to click on the add URL button for the authorized redirect URLs uh, part. We click here. Then we will need to go to our dashboard. Here we will need to copy the redirect URL from here and paste it back uh, onto the credentials page. So we can click on the create button. And here are our client ID and client secret generated. So we need to copy this data and paste back to the um, client ID and client secret of the Google Sheets of the BitFlows plugin. So we uh, copy them and paste them accordingly to, the, to their inputs. That's it, we are done. So we can uh, click on a connect button here. Here we will need to choose our desired account. So uh, the connection with Google Sheet is ready. Now we will need to choose the spreadsheet with flows uh, spreadsheet. And here we will need to choose, for example, sheet one, add column A. So once we're done, let's close uh, the uh, flow. So at the end, if we go to the logs, here we can see the uh, log history uh, and we can click on the details button. Here you can see the on post status update, uh, like publish, uh, all status uh, it was the draft and the new status was published. And if we go to our Google Sheets, we will see this data appeared here. That was all about the advanced features the BitFlows app offers us. If you find the video informative, don't forget to like, subscribe to our YouTube channel and in the comments below, let me know how you are going to use the BitFlows in your workflows. Bye.